The most popular and to me, the most talented club team in CONCACAF is our very own Inter Miami. Vlad, when was the last time we had a team full of stars that was expected to win everything here in South Florida? The Heatles. Mm. Before that, 2000, 2001 Hurricanes. Yeah, but kind of hit no, I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. Full of stars, expected to win everything. Yeah, I'm talking. Well, Canes were a college. You know, that was right. a college team. So I'm talking about like the style. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm just saying. No, that, that, that's ridiculous. Because uh, the other day I saw something that actually we we shall talk about maybe the last segment. I know what it was. I saw it. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie to you. Other than it's your quarterback, it's, it's a, a hard, hard, it's hard to argue <laughs> against the 2001 team. But that 2000, uh, was it 18? 18 team for LSU. LSU was uh, yeah. That's yeah, we'll we'll talk about it, but. Let's get. Let's not get. Let's not. Yeah. Let's let's not move forward. So you have Inter Miami, present. who have a loaded team with some of the all-time great legends, whether they've aged a little bit or not. You know, Lionel Messi, of course, a lot of people think the greatest soccer player of all time. His running buddy Luis Suarez, greatest Uruguayan player of all time. He's got Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, generational Busquets. players. My favorite personal player, Leo Campana. Campana. He is a goal maker. You got Drake Callender, one of the premier goaltenders in the MLS. And he's also been invited to the U.S. national team. All right. What's up? Robert Taylor has had a renaissance since Lionel Messi has joined the team. Kermansky is on the team. You got, okay, with all that, betting favorites to win everything this year we're talking about mls cup that's the big one although Concacaf champions cup which is basically champions league for Concacaf, that's huge leagues cup which we won last year and all the things in between favored to win it all but oh it's inter there's yet no of course it is inter but yet there's some detractors this is the Thing, the narrative I want to get just shut down immediately. Shut it down. Article on ESPN.com. Messi's a star, but can Inter Miami keep pace in MLS? There is an argument with the poor preseason that Inter Miami had, and it was piss poor. And the way that Messi didn't score, although he had an assist, in the first game against Real Salt Lake, that teams are starting to figure out Lionel Messi and that they're going to neutralize him in some way, shape, or form. This coming season. <laughs> Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Time out. So yeah, please laugh at this I gotta idea. laugh at it. I have to laugh at the MLS has figured out how to stop Lionel Messi. I mean, when the about, greatest minds. How about La Liga never figured him out? La Liga, how about Champions League Champions never figured him out? How about the World Cup is barely the I'm just saying FIFA World Cup has barely figured him out. I'm just saying. But now all of a sudden we got him. We're after after what tw- 25 years of professional soccer. We got him. No, he no nobody's figured out Lionel Messi. You know why? Because he's one of the greatest of all times. You can't. So I don't want to hear this narrative that teams, whether it be MLS, whether it be Liga MX, whether it be anybody, has figured out Lionel Messi and Inter Miami. It's impossible to figure out Lionel Messi. That's like saying you can figure out Michael Jordan. You can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> so stop that narrative right now. Well, he hasn't scored in a while. He had an assist. He was crucial in both of the goals that were scored the other day. I, it's silly to say that teams have figured out how to stop Lionel Messi. You think the greatest minds in the world in all the greatest leagues would have figured it out by now? They're not. They can't. You so would have thought. It's done. Done. Here is something interesting that does scare you a little bit if you're an Inter Miami fan like you and I are, Vlad. This season is not just going to be a dance around the Maypole. It's not going to be just a walk in the park. Number one, MLS, it's more competitive than people give it credit for. Number two, it's a very long season. There's injuries. Got to deal with that. Number three, you have to remember, some of these guys aren't going to be there for every single game of the year. Lionel Messi, we already know, is going to miss nine games for sure with international duty. And we know how the team does without Lionel Messi. Of course, Luis Suarez, he's kind of towards the back end, not going to be doing that much. Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets. But there's even an article saying this. Lionel Messi, of course, he's got international duty with Argentina, but he also has the option of doing a little more extra international duty. What's that? Argentina has qualified for the Olympics. Oh. No. He doesn't have no he doesn't have an Olympic gold medal, right? Would that interest you as one of the greatest players of all time? Yeah. To maybe babe. add on your mantle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of, uh, here's the thing. And 
as crazy as it is, because we talk about how players love money and everything like that. But when you reach a certain level, now you're looking for things to inspire you. And if you're eight, the Olympics are allowing, have a lot of professionals to join, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can win a World Cup, you can win a La Liga. You win you can, UEFA Champions. You win a UEFA. You win Champions League. You win. You won World Cup. You've won League's Cup already, so you got that. You've won. <laughs> you won League's Cup, Champions Cup. You've won it all. But you've. Uh, you never played. He never played in the. He never played in the Euro. I mean, he never played in the uh, Premier. So you can't, correct right, but La Liga would be. But he played in La Liga, so that that's what it Pretty is. Pretty similar. Yes. So La Liga champions. You also won the French league. You won League One. No, yeah, yeah PSG. Oh yeah, PSG. Yeah, you won I think that the only thing that you're missing from the big trin from the Holy Trinity is the Olympics. Because if you won champions and you won World Cup, the only other yeah. big international soccer because award you, that you can get would be the Olympics. Because even if you argue and say, well, he never played in Premier League, he still won champ. He won the Premier. Yeah, for what the, the equivalent of the Premier League is La Liga, but and he, he won that. All the time. Even if it is well, slightly below that, he won Champions League several times, and that's the best of the best in Europe. Well, yes. So but, you you, you kind of know. But winning your league is, and yes, but La Liga and Premier are the top two leagues. So he yes. he's not he hadn't played it in um in Premier. That's why I love Messi and I love Ronaldo. But sometimes you got to look at the Ronaldo situation as like, you know, he won La Liga, Premier, Champions, and uh, mm -hmm. he's won a lot and a and yeah, a Europe. Yeah. Man, you, yeah, and he won a euro. Oh, he won a euro, yeah, he won a euro as well. So, what we're looking at, oh, yeah, he's won Copa America too, which brings us to our next point. He is going to probably participate in the Copa America, that's more games, not to mention Argentina qualifying games for World Cup. So, there's a chance that Messi could end up missing more games than we even initially expected. That's a problem. I'll be the first to tell you, that's a problem. I you love were the first, you were the first to say it since last year. I love Tata Martino. I love Leo Campana. I love Campana. I like Robert Taylor. DeAndre Yedlin. I love those guys. But there's a difference when Leo's not on the field. Sometimes maybe not Suarez. Sometimes not Jordi Alba. Sometimes not Sergio Busquets. There's a problem. Busquets. There's a problem, Vlad. And if Messi, who has every right to play for his country in various forms, isn't on the field, it makes the season a little more complicated. It's not a walk in the park. I wasn't going to be a walk in the park regardless. My thing is, of course, of course not. But my thing is this. Messi, does he get to the point where he's like, hold up, I have a vested financial interest in this team. I got to worry about my wallet more than my heart. Or does he say, you know what? This team's going to be fine. I'm going to go Olympic. I don't blame him for going to the Olympics. If I were Messi, I would go to the Olympics. And you know where the Olympics are this summer. In France. In Paris. Right, so he kind of wants to give the like the to 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 Paris to the people in Paris who, um, as as Mbappe now going uh, uh rumored to going to Real Madrid. Now you're hearing a lot of the 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 turmoil that was going on when they had their version of uh Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie Irving. It was very, it was very ugly at PSG. Their big three with um with Neymar and Messi and Mbappe wasn't great, and they didn't. They didn't hit the goal. Like their their goal was to win the Champions League, which they it, should have had. That that was a realistic goal. Well, considering that they were going to be they were easy going to win League One. Well, like, yeah. Legal, all you got to worry about is you know, League. Uh, so all you got to worry about is Champions the Champions League. League, and they always get knocked out in the Six, round, round of sixteen. Of 16. Right, round of you sixteen. You got the three best players in the world on the field at the same time. I remember Real Madrid going there and beating them, and it was nasty. But so, yeah. But you don't think he would like to go into Paris? I think he wants to go to Paris after win, all the arguments of you know and win and win a and win a award there and basically tell them that go you know yeah number one go love yourself you guys got you know you guys caught our French team at the right place right time everyone was sick we still kind of almost won that game you might have outplayed us but you still almost lost the game and another thing is these guys are competitive you don't think he wants to go into Paris and shut Mbappe down and say twice now. You might be the best player in the world now, but I'm the best player of all time. That means something to go in there and tell Mbappe or show Mbappe and France and the world still got it. I don't blame him. Heck, I want a gold medal. It doesn't get old. That does not get old, lad. All the awards in the world. That's one that you want. 
Absolutely. And then you win that MLS Cup. Complete career right there. He could walk off after that. He's not. He's going to go to Noel Old Boys, his original club team in Argentina. But nonetheless, he could he could walk off winning UEFA Champions Cup. I know that's a big one. Leagues Cup. I know that's a big one. MLS Cup. A gold medal. Yeah. You the man. Win it all. It's like getting the EGOT. It's another, like winning an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, another, and a Tony. I had, another, I had another award in there, too, but uh, it slips my mind. But you win all that. Like, why play anymore? If you could do all that this year, all that this year, plus you set up Inter-Miami as a franchise that you are a part owner of, it would be unbelievable. 